Calaroga Shark Media. Hello and welcome to Romance Weekly. This episode is titled Storms of the Heart, A Pirate's Tale of Love Rediscovered. In the sultry embrace of the Caribbean, circa 1790, where the azure sea kisses golden sands, a tale of forbidden love unfolds under the watchful gaze of the sun. Isabella, with her skin kissed by the sun and hair as dark as the midnight sea, was the embodiment of the island's beauty. Her spirit, as wild and free as the ocean breeze, captivated many but none so much as the enigmatic pirate, Captain James Hawk. James, with his piercing blue eyes that held the depth of the ocean and a physique carved from his battles and adventures, was the definition of a dangerous allure. Their first encounter was as tempestuous as the sea during a storm. Isabella had stumbled upon James in a hidden cove, the pirate in the midst of burying his latest treasure. The tension between them crackled like lightning, their connection immediate and undeniable. Despite the danger that James represented, Isabella found herself drawn to him, his charm and wit disarming her defenses. You know, it's not often I find such beauty that rivals the treasures I seek, James remarked, his gaze locked on Isabella's, a playful smirk on his lips. And it's not often I find a pirate who speaks of beauty and treasures in the same breath, Isabella retorted her voice laced with intrigue and a hint of challenge. Their romance blossomed like a flower in the sun, intense and passionate. They met in secret, their moments together stolen from the world that would never understand their love. James showed Isabella the freedom of the sea, taking her on voyages under the stars, teaching her the language of the winds and waves. In return, Isabella showed James the beauty of the land her love anchoring his restless heart. Yet the reality of their worlds threatened to tear them apart. Pirates were hunted, despised for their lawlessness, and Isabella belonged to the land, her family's expectations weighing heavy on her shoulders. They knew their love was a storm on the horizon, destined to break. We're from two different worlds, Isabella, James said one moonlit night, the pain evident in his voice. I can't ask you to leave yours for mine, and I can't ask you to give up the sea, the very essence of who you are, Isabella replied, tears glistening in her eyes. So with heavy hearts, they parted ways, their farewell a promise of a love that could never be. and weeks into months, but the memory of their love refused to fade, a constant ache in their hearts. Isabella tried to move on, to fulfill the role expected of her on land, but her spirit remained with James out at sea. James, despite the freedom of the ocean, found no joy in his plunder, each treasure a hollow reminder of the true treasure he had lost. Fate, however, had not finished with them. Aboard the Crimson Knight, under a blanket of stars, the crew gathered around the deck, the sea calm as if whispering secrets to the night. The air was thick with anticipation, for it was a rare occasion that the crew indulged in the luxury of rest and camaraderie. At the center of this assembly sat the balladeer, a young lad with a voice that could weave magic into the air, turning words into vivid images and emotions. The balladeer strummed his lute, the notes floating into the night, and began his tale, a story of a love so deep it defied the bounds of earth and sea, yet was doomed to end in tragedy. The tale spoke of a sailor who fell for a maiden of the land, their love a beacon that no storm could extinguish. Yet fate, cruel and unyielding, tore them apart, leaving the sailor to roam the seas, his heart forever anchored to a love lost. 
As the balladeer's voice filled the night, a hush fell over the crew, the song touching the hearts of all who listened. None felt the sting of the tale more acutely than Captain James Hawk. His eyes, usually a stormy blue, turned dark with the weight of his own memories. Isabella's face, her smile, the sound of her laughter all flooded his mind. Each note of the balladeer's song a reminder of the love he had tried to leave behind. The crew, sensing their captain's mood, exchanged glances, the merriment fading into a solemn respect for his silent sorrow. The balladeer, feeling the shift, let the song drift into a soft, mournful end, the last note hanging in the air like a whispered goodbye. No sooner had the song faded than the night sky began to change. Dark clouds rolled in, obscuring the stars, as if the heavens themselves were moved by the tale of lost love. A gust of wind swept across the deck, the sea beginning to churn as if awakening from a slumber. Storm's coming, shouted the first mate, his voice cutting through the eerie calm that had settled over the crew. James snapped out of his reverie, the captain within him taking command. All hands on deck, he bellowed, his voice carrying the authority of the sea itself. Secure the sails, tie down everything that moves, prepare for a squall. The crew sprang into action, the camaraderie of moments before replaced by the precision of a well-oiled machine. James took the helm, his gaze fixed on the horizon where lightning danced among the clouds, heralding the tempest's approach. The storm hit them with the fury of a scorned lover, waves crashing over the deck, the wind howling like a banshee. James, steadfast at the helm, steered the crimson knight through the tempest, his thoughts on Isabella the love he'd left behind, now the beacon guiding him through the storm. As dawn broke, the storm abated, leaving behind a sea as calm as a mirror, reflecting the sky's transition from black to a soft, promising blue. The crew, exhausted yet alive, gathered once more on the deck, the ordeal drawing them closer, their respect for their captain deepening. James stood at the helm, the morning light revealing the toll the night had taken on him and his ship. Yet in his heart, a resolve had taken root. The storm, in its fury, had washed away the last of his doubts. He would return to Isabella to fight for their love, to bridge the divide between his world and hers. For in that night of song and storm, James had found his truth. A love lost was a love worth fighting for, and he would sail to the ends of the earth to reclaim it. A year to the day since their parting, the fierce storm had brought James back to Isabella's cove. His ship battered, his crew weary. Isabella, who had taken to walking the beach at night in hope and despair, found him there, struggling against the tempest. Without a word, she ran to him, her actions driven by a love that had never dimmed. Together, they fought their way to shelter, the storm raging around them as fierce as the passion that had once consumed them. As the dawn broke, the storm clearing to reveal a sky of purest blue, James and Isabella faced each other, the truth of their feelings laid bare. I've tried to forget you, Isabella confessed, her voice a whisper against the roar of the sea. But my heart is as stubborn as a pirate. James took her in his arms, his gaze intense. And I've tried to sail away from you, but my heart is as bound to you as the tide to the moon. In that moment, they knew that no rule of land or law of the sea could keep them apart. Their love, as wild and untamed as the world they inhabited, refused to be denied. With the rising sun as their witness, they vowed to navigate the challenges of their worlds together, their love the compass guiding their way. James, no longer a pirate, but a navigator of the heart, and Isabella, the anchor of his soul, embarked on a new adventure, their spirits intertwined like the currents of the sea. Their love story, a testament to the power of love to overcome the storms of life, became legend, a beacon of hope to those who dared to love beyond the boundaries of their world. And so, in the warmth of the Caribbean sun, Isabella and James lived out their days, their love a treasure more precious than any plundered gold, a true testament to the enduring power of the heart.
Romance Weekly is a Calaroga Shark Media production, written and hosted by A.I. McIntyre, produced by Mark Francis. Executive producers Mark Francis and John McDermott. Calaroga Shark Media 